And so here's a question to these companies that keep requesting us to do one thing we can't do. How am I supposed to confirm that everything is in the bag for the customer if I can't see it because the bag is stapled shut? Well, long and behold, I do have a couple, maybe three total, tips and tricks that you can utilize to confirm that to make these companies happy. First of all, I wanna say skip the dishes. You're gonna modify things because I can't see order details, so I cannot confirm what's in the bag or even what the order is, and that is not helping us gig workers. Now, for companies like Uber Eats and DoorDash, this is what I do. First of all, let's talk about drinks. And drinks is an easy concept. They have a special weight to them that indicates that this is a lot more heavier in density. McDonald's orders, for example, I have had it that the bag was much, much lighter. And if I'm on with DoorDash or with Uber, I can 100% see what's supposed to be in the order for my order details. And if I combine that and I find out that there's no drinks in there, well, the combined weight is too light. I have indicated to them, hey, there's no drinks in here. Can you put them in there? 90% of the time, they'll take the bag back and check the weight themselves. I'm fine with it. You check the weight, you do what you gotta do, but include the drinks in there. Because if I'm a customer that's getting everything but my drinks and I ordered a trio or a combo or whatever, yeah, I want my drink and I, I wanna make sure that the driver is not benefiting from my drink. The second thing that you can do, and comment below if this is something that you lovelies do, I've never done it, it's been a tip that has been shared before on this channel, is you can always turn around and have a stapler with you if you feel the need to check the bag and staple it shut yourself afterwards. I'm personally not gonna unstaple a bag and restaple it afterwards, but I know people that have done it. And there's no wrong answer in that factor as long as you're not up to no good, so I don't see the hurtfulness in doing that, but personally speaking, I prefer not to open the bag. And the third one that this is the one that I most commonly do when it comes to anything missing in food orders is one, I tell them at the restaurant, look, I can see that my customer is indicating that they've had missing items before. Can you make sure everything is in there? If they tell me, yes, everything is in there, then what I do is I either text the customer in advance when I'm just about to get into my car and I tell them straight, I did confirm with the restaurant to make sure everything is there. If you have any other problems, contact Uber or the other method is contact the restaurant because the restaurants are reliable for if stuff is missing. It's not me as the driver. If I'm the good guy and I'm not taking anything, I'm just the middleman that's the messenger. And as the messenger, I'm either gonna tell you, you go left or you're gonna go right. You don't go in the middle. So you're either gonna go to Uber support directly and maybe get a partial refund or you go the other direction and you contact a restaurant because some of these restaurants have delivery drivers that deliver on behalf of them. If they're getting paid for the hour, they're working on behalf of the restaurant and they can take care of the rest. Otherwise, 90% of the time, the customer will take the refund. Most of the times when I have this hiccup of confirming the items in the bag, I will intentionally leave the message when I'm taking the picture and dropping off or when it's a meet at the door, I let them know personally speaking, hey, here's your order. I did make sure everything is there, but I can't see in the bag. And so because of that, if you're having any hiccups, please contact the restaurant or Uber directly because they'll get it sorted out. Uber might prompt you to call me personally, but I can let you know in advance, there's nothing that I can do about it. Now, regardless of the fact that, yes, I can go back to the restaurant and fetch for something, you don't get paid to do that. You don't get paid anything additional to go fetch additional for a customer. What you see is what you get on the app. So what you get from the restaurants is what the customer gets from you. If you want to do the nice gesture, go ahead. And I'm curious to know if you do that, comment below. Do you go back to the restaurant if something is messed up or not there? If so, comment below because me personally, no, I do not do that. But at least I guide my customers to where they need to go. And I hope this helps guide you on what you need to do if you have to confirm that all items are in the bag with the restaurant.